The new iPhone has a macro capability, which is actually quite impressive. So I'm going to use that to show how training a complex procedure uh, using the iPhone is actually very valuable. So let's take a look at a complex procedure like creating uh, specimens for TEM examination and see how well it holds up. So in creating specimens for TEM examination, it's a relatively complex procedure. You have to embed the specimen, create a trapezoid, section 300 nanometer semi-thin sections, survey that, then create uh, another trapezoid for 70 nanometer sections, and then you have to stain them and image them. So using the iPhone, embedding the specimen, creating the trapezoid uh, are shown using the macro functions. Here's the trapezoid that I created. And you can see you can zoom in on this with the iPhone uh, and it holds together. There's the larger trapezoid that we've created of a specimen. And then using the iPhone to videotape that procedure is also uh, really, really nice. It could never do this well using the GoPro. Here I am creating the larger specimen sizes. Those are the green sections. Then I take those sections, place them on a glass slide, stain them with telluidine blue, and then create a narrow search area. Then I take that epoxy specimen, I create a smaller trapezoid on top of the larger trapezoid for our 70 nanometer sections. You can section at 70 nanometers larger trapezoids, so you have to use these smaller trapezoids. And now I'm looking for an interference color of silver, and lo and behold, we can get that with the smaller trapezoid. So then we're going to, we're going to separate these sections, pick them up with our loop, and place them on grids, and even photographing the specimens on grids is difficult. We take those grids, we stain them, and you can see the iPhone even picks up the stained grid uh, that you can actually see. So uh, I was never able to do this with a Canon camera. Then we take these grids with the stained sections, place them in a, a fixture, and then we take that fixture and place it into the TEM. And then when you look at it in the TEM, this is TEM, this is actually what you see. And I haven't been able to use GoPros to actually show what happens actually when you're imaging in the TEM. And the even though it's shaky here, because I'm just holding it by my hand, this actually does a pretty good job of showing what it's like to image these specimens in the TEM. And when I have a holder for the iPhone that will actually uh, hold it steady, I think this will show very well how this imaging is actually done in a, a transmission electron microscope. Here you can see the individual sections. In this particular example, you can see there was actually an uninstrumented canal in this. And in that uninstrumented canal was a, a large fungal uh, component to it. So there you can see the uh, canal that was actually completely uninstrumented and unexpected uh, in the specimen. So here you can see the fungal component uh, in that uninstrumented canal. So I think this gives a sense of what it's like to process a specimen and image it under an electron microscope. And this has now become much easier for me with that macro capability uh, of the iPhone. And I was able to put this together very, very quickly. Doing this with a Canon camera uh, would have taken a lot more time.